Hello, I'm Ol. What do you know about mycorrhizal fungi? Not a lot. Neither do I. <laughs> Excuse me, Molly. Thank you. No, I don't know a lot about it either. I've gained my knowledge from YouTube and the internet. And I've got to say it's limited and it's conflicting. I'm not too sure whether this stuff works or not. Um, supposedly, it forms a symbiotic relationship with roots of plants. Uh, makes the roots of plants uh, more efficient. Excuse me, Mol. Makes the roots of plants more efficient and enables them to take up the nutrients better. And in return, um, the plant gives off some sugars to the to the fungi. Um, but to be honest, I don't think I've seen any proof of it. I certainly haven't got any proof of it. I'm running a trial now. Uh, and one of the problems I have is, I'm not too sure what I'm, I'm looking for. I'm not too sure what to expect. And I might wind that trial up shortly. I've, I've started a few vegetables off and I've introduced the roots to some mycorrhizal fungi from this packet. And I'm not too sure what to expect when I have another look at them. Whether the roots will be thicker, longer, look stronger, I don't know, look different, more of them. I've no idea what I'm looking for. But I'll, I'll, I'll carry that on. But one thing I have uh, noticed on the internet is that people actually make this stuff. They make mycorrhizal fungi. But I've got this stuff now, so I will use this stuff. Um, I am using it on uh, all of my veg this year. Uh, apart from I think it's uh, brassicas don't like it. Um, but I'm using this stuff on, on all of my veg. Um, but what I'm going to have a, what I'm going to have a go at with this, I'm, I'm going to try and make uh, a mycorrhizal fungi garden. I'm going to try and make this stuff um, sort of reproduce. I'm not too sure even if that's the right expression. Put some in, get more out. I don't know. I don't know if that's reproduction or not. I'm not too sure what it is. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm, I'm just going to see if I can do it. Uh, and if I can do it and I can make some more of this stuff I'm still not too sure what I'm going to do with it at the end of the day Are you as confused as I am? But are you up for it? Should we do it? Are you up for it Molly? Should we go and make this mycorrhizal fungi garden see if we can make it grow? Yeah, come on! Come on! We're going to be using these trays these spent mushroom trays and I've sat inside them a seed tray okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to half fill this seed tray with an organic medium then we're going to sprinkle it with some mycorrhizal fungi and then we're going to cover it over with some more of that medium then we're going to stand these to one side for a few weeks, a few months and see if we can't grow some mycorrhizal fungi. Okay. I'll just move these to one side for the time being. And I'll show you what we're going to be using as a medium. This is some old forest bark. Excuse me, Molly, please. Okay, we'll hold it up here. This is some old forest bark. Okay. Um, quite often, if you kick some of this stuff over, if you go for a walk in the forest, you'll see the mycorrhizal fungi um, actually growing, growing wild. It's a natural. Um, it's a natural thing. And there's not much more natural than uh, forest bark, is there? Okay. Now this might be an experiment too far, but I have actually seen on the internet that these fungi evolved from the sea. They actually came on land, uh, as I think we did. They evolved from the sea, came on land, um, plants started to grow, symbiotic relationship, the two got together and the rest, as they say, is history. So this might actually work. This is a mixture of um, chopped seaweed and leaves. I use this quite extensively in the garden. 
So we're going to set up two two gardens here, two mycorrhizal fungi gardens here. One with chopped seaweed and leaves, one with forest bark. It'll either work or it won't work. If we don't try it, we'll never know, will we? So let's try it. Okay, we'll go with the forest bark first. Any stones we find, because this has been raked up, um, we'll take them out. How's that looking here, getting that? That's the forest bark. This is the mycorrhizal fungi, you probably won't see this because the sun's shining and this is a reflective surface, so I'm not too sure what you're getting. Take my word for it, this is mycorrhizal fungi. Okay. Uh, Molly. Pip pip, come on round here, yeah? Oi! That's it there, so we'll, we'll sprinkle a bit of that on. I think the expression is uh, inoculate. So we're inoculating this forest bark with some microvise of fungi. Excuse me, Molly. Thank you. Might be able to say that, maybe not. I don't know. Now we're just going to cover that over with some more of this uh, forest bark. Pop that on there. Like that. There's another stone that we found. Okay, so this is our first microrhizal fungi garden. Already sown, ready to go. Pop that to one side. I'll bring this one in. Just exactly the same, seed tree in the bottom. We're going to put some chopped seaweed and leaves in this one. As you can see that's a much finer mixture. Chop seaweed and leaves. We'll add the mycorrhizal fungi. it added. Okay. And we'll cover that over. With a layer of chopped seaweed and leaves. Okay I'll uh, I'll make a ticket for these two, put the date on so that we know when we started this these two gardens off. And then um, We'll have a look in a few weeks, a few months time, I'm not too sure what to expect. I've never done this before. Um, and I think the idea might be that um, if we can inoculate this with mycorrhizal fungi and get it to multiply, so we get more out than we put in, and we, get the, uh, we can get the white sort of thread veins that you actually associate with, with funguses growing through the uh, through organic matter. Then we'll take some of this out and we'll use it as part of a compost mix so that when we plant in that compost mix 
hopefully we can get that symbiotic relationship that's uh, supposedly uh, so good for for not just the mycorrhizal fungi itself which takes the sugars from the uh, from the plants but all the nutrients that are freed up and released to the plants because of that symbiotic relationship. We'll have a go at that. Okay. So this is homegrown veg. Me and Molly. Come on, Molly, come in the picture. This is me and Molly signing out. <laughs>